What is up, Beta Ray brothers and sisters? Beta Ray Jim here. It's Monday, August 31st, 2020, and this is a room tour. Let's do this. And welcome back, guys. Thank you so much for being here. It's time for the room tour video. I've been teasing it for a while. I'm really excited to be bringing this to you. I'm gonna be going kind of top down, but first I wanna do the art and the posters and things that I have in the room, and then we'll be going to the Marvel section, followed by DC, IDW, Indies, things like that, and then some of the other collections that I have, Magic the Gathering cards, Warhammer, Dungeons and Dragons, all that good stuff. Uh, I've already filmed the video, so we'll be going through it, maybe pausing and such through the video, have some cuts and edits and stuff like that. Please hit that like button if you do like this video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm going to have more content coming up in the future and also leave a comment let me know like what parts of my collection that you really like and I'd also like to see where you think I can improve wait until you see my DC collection it's pretty weak all right let's get on with it on to the artwork all right so here we go this is what you see when you first walk in we've got a nice Marvel Comics poster there love that art classic just above that and I have the whole pretty much the whole top of the room surrounded with posters got these frames off Amazon Got some of this art from Amazon, eBay, some from Hobby Lobby. That picture on the left there, Carnage. Got that from CLG. Shout out to CLG Comics. Go check them out. Huge fan of Marvel, as you can see. Make mine Marvel. Love that Infinity Gauntlet. Take a look at that. These wooden artwork panels. Also got those from Hobby Lobby. They usually have some pretty good sales. I don't know if you have one near you, but if you do, look at that Fantastic Four poster. Fantastic. Literally. Love that Captain America cover. A lot of these covers just call back to when I first started collecting comics. Huge fans of these covers. I, there's plenty out there, so you've got a good selection you can choose from if you, if you take a look. We'll go over these slabs in a bit, but just wanted to point out some of these posters. Excellent stuff. Big fan of this artwork. And then we go to the top of the shelves. We can take a look at these slabs. I mean, there's nothing too, too crazy here. I just recently got into the slab game and whew, it's pretty addictive. I really like some of these covers though. None of them are particularly super valuable or anything. Oh, there we got the championship belt. The winged eagle, WWF classic. And I've got some nice comics here. Some of them, you know, remind me of some friends I've made on YouTube and stuff. Shout out to like Biggie Shack, First Edition Comics, you know, some friends of mine. Got my Jason Voorhees mask, Freddy vs. Jason. Oh, check out these Acts of Vengeance. We're getting into the Marvel Omnis here, but these Acts of Vengeance covers, if you take them both and put them together, they actually make one like connecting cover. Big fan of that. Looks so cool. But I'm not going to go through every single omnibus, just... You know, we've got some Avengers, West Coast Avengers, Cap, Conan the Barbarian, Marvel, and Savage Sword. Good stuff. I try to collect it alphabetical order. As you can see, Marvel Knights there. But it's before the Bendis run. It really goes with that run, so I keep it there. Love this Deadpool cover. Thor's just laughing at him. It's like, come on, guy. Evolutionary War. Haven't read Earth X yet. Or those Doctor Strange. In fact, most of these, a lot of these books I haven't read yet. Can't wait to dig through completely. Fantastic Four. Good stuff. Oh, the Hulks. I've read a lot of this stuff. That Peter David. I can't wait for Volume 2. Planet Hulk. World War Hulk. Hulk with Loeb and McGinnis. The Red Hulk. Great stuff. Infinity Gauntlet. Mm, going too fast. Love those Punisher books. Marvel Zombies gets a lot of hate. I, I found it pretty entertaining. I mean, yeah, there's some, some crazy spots at the end, but not bad. That Secret Wars 2 I got for a steal. Love these Spider-Man runs, especially that McFarlane run. Miles Morales, Spider-Man. Oh, we're getting into the Thor stuff. I need Mighty Thor Volume 1, but it's a whale. It's like a $500 book. Oh, nice camera work, Jim. Yeah, you're seeing two X-Men classic there. Check out my five omnibus mistakes if you want to learn more about that. Mutant Massacre. Good stuff. Oh, I gotta read that Uncanny X-Force. I've heard it's amazing. All right, on to my paltry DC section. Got some Vertigo IDW stuff here. Those absolutes are really good. I haven't read Court of Owls or Killing Joke yet. Please feel free to 
shame me in the comments. I've heard really good things. Uh, Comic Cat 84 said, Why the Last Man is really good. That's on the list. Lock and Key was amazing. Lady Killer, great stuff. Still haven't read Berserk. I just finished Invincible. Unbelievable. Definitely need to review that. Delicious in Dungeon. That's that eight set manga series. Looking forward to reading that. I've heard good things. All right, on to Magic the Gathering. As you can see, collect quite a bit of Magic the Gathering cards. Mostly uh, the set Ixalan Forward for those who play. Got my trade binders and play mats and deck boxes. These are all like commons and uncommons and long boxes sorted by color. Moving on to the Dungeons and Dragons stuff, and feel free to pause it if you want to check out any of these books. Of course, I've got OD&D, AD&D, AD&D 2nd Edition. There's a lot of 4th Edition, as you can see. I've got 3, 3.5, 5th Edition here at the end. Great stuff, that 5th Edition. Man, they nailed that game. And that brings us to the Warhammer section, looking at uh, mostly Warhammer 7th Edition. A few trades here. Stuff I haven't gotten in omnibus format yet few more trades these books i have in omnibus format and some poker books magic the gathering books some poker cards chem copag stuff like that and that's it and there we have it that's the room tour i hope you enjoyed it i had a good time filming it i love going through my stuff you know what can i say i take a lot of pride in my collection I'm eager to see my next room tour video so I can compare it to this one to see where my collection has grown. I'm also eager to read your comments. I want to see what you think of my collection. I'd also like to see where you think I can improve. Uh, are there any like major, major books that I'm missing? Like what holes do I have in my collection? I'd love to hear your thoughts, hear your opinions. How can I make my collection better? And as always, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Once again, please hit that like button. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And... I'll catch you next time.